Well, hello ladies and gentlemen. Today, for a change, I thought I'd play Terraria. I love Terraria. But, as you may have spotted, this is not Terraria, it's Toparia. Now, Toparia is made by Top Topagio, by that chap, and it is a mod for Terraria. And what it allows is an RPG leveling class system thingamabob, leveling mechanics, uh, passive skills, combat skills, and you get NPC changes, and there are a lot more NPCs. Now, what you've got is the usual character creation stuff here. <coughs> and... Yeah, that'll do. Uh, no, no, that looks stupid. That looks stupid. That looks stupid. God's sake. That'll do. Blue hair. That's always sensible. <coughs> right, now, the classes you get are... I believe Tourist makes everything really easy. Um, ah, here we go. Warrior. Basically, what you've got is you've got skill levels. And depending on the class you choose, these skills can go up to level 50. Now, level 20 is supposed to be the equivalent to <coughs> the vanilla skills, for example. At level 20 Warrior, you'll be doing the same amount of melee damage as you would in a normal game. At level 0, where you start, you'll be doing significantly less. So the game actually starts off more difficult, but gets a lot more fun when you get the more powerful levels. <coughs> and that's not including the active skills. So this does... Uh, the thing is, if you pick a warrior, then you can still do throne and magic, <coughs> but they only go up to level 10, so you're never going to get them as good as uh, in-game, as vanilla. So you've got melee, you've got throne weapons, uh, marksman is ranged weapons, obviously, wizard is magic, bard, um, I think does level 20 in there, after everything, I'm not sure. I've got the list of stuff to decide. Um, these don't go up to level 50, for example. They get uh, like 40 or something like that. So you can be really good at one or okay at several. Well, okay at two or, you know. Now the demigod... <coughs> Oh, Tourist weak at pretty much everything the other way around, so Tourist is terrible. Demigod makes you get up to level 50 in everything, which kind of takes the challenge out of it towards the end. So this time I'm going to go for a warrior. Uh, Hack slash lose nothing on death. XP, some items destroyed. No, let's stick with that, I think. Um, and just for a change, I'm going to pick a new name. Well, create world. I think I'll go for a small because there's only me on my pod. Uh, 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 I wonder what world difficulty does. And <coughs> Topperia. Let's have a go. Let's get this party started, so to speak. Uh huh. Come on. There we go. We have a world. Let's join in. Yay! Oh, ooh, next to water. That means I'll be able to drown everybody. Okay, in the beginning there was tree cutting. Let me get back to you in a minute. Although, actually, I suppose there's some things I should show you. I just had a good thought, actually, with all that water to the side. Other than uh, the side effect of my guide now drowning himself, it means we might not get attacked very much from that side, which will make it very nice and defensive. Until I build a bridge over there like the stupid person I am to get to the other side out of curiosity. Now, um... Just so you know, you start off with stone tools this time, and as you can see, they are absolutely crap. But down the bottom here, you have all your abilities. Now, you've got the usual melee throwing character skills. You can start off at level 0, and there's no hearts found in this game anymore. What happens is, as you go up levels of your own character, which you can do from earning XP and any of the stuff below, you will gain health and mana. So you already start off with some mana. <clears throat> As you can see below, magic and ranged, and throwing only takes 9 XP to level, but because I'm a melee, it only takes 8 XP to level that one with a little bit. Let me show you just how significantly rubbish my character is. Oops. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. Took a lot to do that. But uh, it's 4 XP to the next level now. Now, as you saw by that little note that popped up, the guide wants himself a house. Oh, why are all the slimes coming from down here? Well, let's get that, because then I'll be able to show you levelling up. Look, 
As you can see, every time I hit him, I gain 1 XP. <laughs> if I can hit him. There we go. Ta-da! I've dinged up a level. Um, I'm not sure what my stats were before, but it should increase my uh, weapons damage. So yeah, let's get the basics out of the way. Let's get myself a house up and running. Ooh, can't do that. Let's go for an underground house if, uh, or an upstairs. Let's go for a floating house then, just for the fun of it. So we'll do a load of these. Oh, crafting skills risen. And I'll put down a bench for now, just so I can make myself some interesting stuff. I need a hammer to break these once I've made them. <coughs> a wooden hammer, that'll do. That's going to be amazing, that's going to be the best tool in the game, obviously, for a long time. Well, I wonder if I can gain skills by killing bunnies. Oh, I can. Ooh. See, as you can see, it takes a lot to kill these things in the beginning. Um, probably a bit higher than this, I'd think. <coughs> important having a house if you're level with the neighbouring terrain. That'll do. I'll destroy them later. dying over there. I think now there's the sound of slime killing bunny. Yeah, as you can see, he needs a bed these days as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a big room and have all my stuff in it, including the guide. Now the bed, there's a basic wooden bed to start off with, because these now need the beds, so uh, that is essential. <clears throat> what I've got to do actually is make some back walls. I don't know what I have to do to make a move here actually. Do I have to re-log when it's an upstairs one or do I just go off the screen and come back? I need to do a bit of exploring anyway so I'll go for a wonder once I've done this. <coughs> there was a bit of copper down the bottom I spotted just now. So that will help. One of them. One of them. Let's put one there as well. I think that can work. Does he need a chair? Let's put a chair in just for the hell of it. Yeah. That looks terrible, I know, but still. <coughs> Let's go get me some skills. Oh. Eh, let's leave him to it for now. I won't worry about that copper just yet, because it's only one or two. Let's see what my skills are going up to. I'm going to level again in a minute. <coughs> just for future notice, I'm on four damage, so anything over that next time I level. Let's see what the neighbourhood holds. Ooh, mushrooms. There is a feature in this mod that lets you automatically walk up terrain, like if I go left. But it's jumping, so it's a bit of a pain at the moment. Oh, blue slime. Don't know if I'll be able to take him on at the moment. Let's give it a try. Ow. I'm doing like one damage to him. Oh, three damage, I mean. Oh, killed him. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, sorry about that. Kill, kill, kill before it kills me. Anyway. How much damage did I say I was doing? Four. Uh, still four. Need to go up quite a bit. Oh, my character's leveled up, so I've got more life. Which is a good thing. Well, let's see. Now this I can't ignore. 
Mm. My apologies, I have a bit of a sniffly nose today. Now that's a lot of iron, so I'm going to definitely grab for that. <coughs> and it's getting dark, so I'm going to need to get back and save my NPC. Need some more wood anyway. As you can see, as with most RPG types leveling mechanics, it takes a lot more, um, a lot more XP to go up each level as you progress. But obviously, once we start going underground and getting better weapons, we'll be minting through the enemies quite easily. <coughs> iron, 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 beautiful iron. What do you reckon, iron sword or iron pickaxe? Hopefully I won't have to choose. I think Iron Sword's a bit of a priority here. <coughs> Considering I am doing pathetic damage with a stone sword. <coughs> Stay away, enemies. stone actually to make the uh, forge, don't I? Oh, I am assuming anyone who's watching this has played the original ter uh, Terraria enough to know the basics and the differences. <coughs> Otherwise I'm wasting my time, aren't I? Let's take a bit from there, a bit from down here. Those trees will be a useful source later on. I've got 20 stone. Yeah, I'm going to need more stone. Oop. I'm not paying attention there. <coughs> of course, now I'm going to have to put up with that splishy splashy sound the whole time I'm playing. <laughs> On the bright side, when it comes to mining hell, I'll be able to drop all that water down and get some obsidian quite easily. so we can keep an eye on what falls down here, because I'm sure that's going to be an ending up being a bit of a monster trap, intentionally or otherwise. So, my NPC's still downstairs. Oh yeah, that's his house. Let's re-log then. See if that helps the little chappy move in. Oop, nope, nope, I haven't got a server up anymore. What am I doing? Single player, not multiplayer. I did used to have it, oh, it doesn't help. I did used to have a server, but uh, not anymore. <coughs> and that was just vanilla. Come on, scroll faster. How much do I need? Oh, it's 20 stone, isn't it? Mm. Hmm. Want to buy a good source of stone. Well, I'm probably going to have to mine at some point anyway, so... Uh, oh, stupid auto-jump thing. <coughs> Stop that! <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to need to take some of these with me, aren't I? Stop jumping! Oh, sorry, little bunny. Just clobber him around the head of a mallet, why not? Zombie will make for an interesting fight. Ow! God, 14 damage to me, and what do I do to him? One. At least my XP's going up. It'll take a long while to kill this chap. Star has fallen. Hey, my melee skill's going up. And with that, I seem to be doing an average of two damage. Here. 
Yep. <clears throat> oh, this is so slow at the beginning. <laughs> Should be able to make the final leap all the way up the top now. be one below. Typical. Well, that's good enough for me. Um, oh, I didn't get any stone yet, did I? Because I was mining. Die, bunny. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, one or two more to go. That's the one. Another star. Now, stars aren't much use at the moment because all your mana and regen, I believe, comes from a magic skill. Let me test that actually because I'm sure they still have some use. Whoa! Oh, I'm gonna be here all day now. <coughs> nope, and the eyeball. Not very good at fighting two things at once at the moment. Good, I've got a slow, crappy weapon. Probably be able to craft a wooden one that's better than this, to be honest. <coughs> die, die. Yay. Not doing any significant damage to this thing. Let's go find that star. I think you craft them into health po uh, into mana potions now or something. Disappears off ammo. Uh, whoa! Whoa! That's a lot of enemies. Let's get over them. Nope, let's not. Let's die horribly. Well, that's one way to uh, respawn. <laughs> Definitely going to need some kind of uh, wall to stop them all jumping down my mine. Whoa! Right in the middle of them again. I forgot my spawn point was there. Oh, this is not going to end well. Oh, too late. Too late. It's too late for me, save yourself. Ooh, on the bright side, my uh, guide has appeared in the right place. <coughs> oh no. For day one, I think, oh, significant wall will be a nice factor. Whoa, they can jump high! <laughs> um, luckily, not that high. Apologies for hysterics. I definitely can't build the smelty thingy bob yet, can I? Oh yeah, there's a level one magic weapon. It's absolutely rubbish, just so that people who dedicate themselves to magic don't have to wait years and years before they get anything they can use. <coughs> Which is fair enough. Ooh, copper. Don't worry, once I actually get some decent weaponry, and I've gone up a level or two, I will... Happily massacre all those chaps there. Let's switch these two around. I'm used to it being there. Another star has fallen. <coughs> Just a quick note. I apologise for anyone who's playing, oh, who's watching this in a lower res than, uh, well, than HD, because because of the size and uh, of the characters and the fact that it doesn't scale when you expand the screen. It just uh, obviously opens up more visible territory, it means it was probably difficult to see what's going on on the lower reses, I would assume. Yep, that's right. Come on, where's all the stone? It's stone! <coughs> yep, that's too far. feeling this is going to be like the Minecraft video, it's going to spend most of the time just digging. But there are significant interesting dangers in the subterranean world, so... 
fingers crossed, after I've got to some tunnels or whatever, it'll be more entertaining. I might have to wait for the second video. I'm going to try and do these in half hour blocks, but it may work out obviously a bit fuzzy around the edges because of whatever happens to be happening at the time. Come on, Stone, where are you? <laughs> I think I've somehow managed to create an absolutely 100% dirt world. Or is that stone I just see on the horizon? Oh, oh. That should be enough for my forge. Oh, I've gone too far. Uh, there. Oh, there. Let's grab a bit more of this stone. To be honest, I always prefer to have stone houses, but uh, I think until I get a better pick, that might not be a worthwhile thing to do. And to be honest, you get so much stone through mining anyway later on. <laughs> that, that can wait. I'll stick with a wooden house for now and maybe replace them if, uh -oh, if needs be. Yep, come on, drop down then, go on. Ow. <coughs> I could take on one of you chaps at a time. Luckily the rest of you have vanished. Ooh, I've gone up a level again. Hmm. I thought I went up like five per level, but I seem to be going up six now. Maybe that's because of my melee class. Five health, that is. So I'm tougher, because I need to tank stuff. Oh, come on, do some proper damage, would you? Let's get you up against the wall. There we go. Oh, I want to buy a better sword. <coughs> Which I will now be able to do. There we go. A furnace, not a forge. What am I delivering on about? Place one of them down there. You don't mind a furnish in your house, do you? Oh, crafting skill's gone up as well. Now, the thing about the crafting skill is everyone can have up to level 50 crafting. And what it does... Oh, I can't have a sword. Because I don't have an anvil yet, and I've got to use up all my mats making a bloody anvil. Yeah, what it does is the higher level crafting skill you get, the better chance you get on the... Um, oh, uh, the modifiers, that's the word modifiers. So, you, I mean, you make a bunch of wooden weapons, you're going to get crappy stats on them like that one that I start off with, but later on if your crafting skill goes up then you're going to make um, legendary wooden for example, which are still going to be shite but they're going to be better than they were, and that is relative to your level, like you make wooden weapons and they are better and better wooden weapons until like level 10 or something, I don't know, and then you start making decent copper weapons. Oh, actually, I've got no wood, have I? No giggling at the back. Oh, I do. <coughs> so, when you're trying to make legendary um, hard mode gear, you're going to need le like level 50, and it's still going to be a probability thing, even then. But a much higher probability than you've got at the moment. I'll have to look into what the actual level ranges are for stuff like that. It might be worth crafting and recrafting uh, stuff. The more mats into an item, I think it is, or the rarer the mats, the more um, crafting XP you get making them. So if you get a load of iron, spam out iron gear. I mean, obviously you'll need it for stuff later on, so don't uh, don't complain to me when you've got no iron left. <coughs> Come on. Come on, find something shiny. You don't want to risk going left and right. Even though, as you can see, there is a shed load of black on the sides. Well, I won't be able to go much further until I've gone wood harvesting again. Sorry if this isn't too exciting for you lot, but hopefully on the next vid I will be dying regularly. Wait, is that stone or iron? Stone. Surprised I've got to reach for that. I think on small worlds they don't go down as far either. I know they go a lot 
less. I know there's a lot less distance left and right and all of that, but I think the uh, the depth of it is a lot smaller. Because I know on some large worlds I've been falling for hours when I go for the elevator. <laughs> Still those two or three blocks of copper over there, aren't there? <laughs> I don't think it'll be worth doing that. <clears throat> Is this iron under me or stone? Oh, there's more copper there. I think there might be stone under me. Definitely worth checking out though. Yeah, that's stone. Can't really tell sometimes. Let's see how much copper we can get hold of. Maybe I can at least get some copper armor. <laughs> the way I like to do this kind of thing is I, when I'm mining, you, when you're mining, you usually find a good mix of two different tiers of metals. Like you'll find copper and iron quite a lot, and I like to use the highest level one for tools, and the lower of the two for armor. So, like, I'll make myself copper armor, iron tools. It's pretty can't make bronze, really, isn't it? But there's no tin in this game. So I've got plenty of. Planks there, that should give me a significant significant uh, depth. Oh, this is one thing I didn't think about. How do I get back over this thing? <laughs> I'll have to either do that every time or break a hole in the wall. Down we go again. <laughs> Nobody spotted any other ores on the way down, have they? New. Oh, go on, crafting level, yes, level four. Now I can craft improved wooden planks. Not. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Come on, I need some iron, I want a decent sword. Now the problem you get here is, this is obviously the best way to mine, unless you're going to go sideways, branch mining, but um, until you find a cave or something like that, just going straight down the platforms is the easiest way to get to the shinier minerals and ores quickest because they're obviously the lower down you go the better the stuff you find but the obvious disadvantage is well it takes a while to get up and down but it would anywhere you mine the obvious disadvantage is you come across an enemy he drops on your head you're trapped with him until you die because you won't be able to kill him very quickly so we finally got ourselves a cave of some description. Let's go down a little bit more before we jump into that. <clears throat> I'm not a big believer in caves. I can see their benefits, but they just tend to be spawning pools for enemies. As demonstrated by the slimes. Eight damage, that was a nice crit. Nothing interesting in that direction? No. Let's keep it lit up. Not that it's Minecraft style if it's light they don't spawn, but it's nice to be able to see what's going on off to the side. <coughs> Tell you what, let's leave it there for episode one. And I'll keep mining in episode 2. See you next time.